Today I'm going to show you how to do a breakfast pie using a cast iron skillet. I've got three large russet potatoes that I baked and peeled, and I'm just going to grate those. Okay, I'm going to add some salt and pepper to the uh, grated potatoes. You don't want to put too much salt because you're going to use uh, cheese also. Now just to let you know, they do grate a whole lot easier if you have them refrigerated and cooled off completely. But I just didn't have time this morning to let them cool. They just kind of stick together, but it won't really matter for the type of recipe we're making. Okay, I'm just going to put a little cooking spray on my gloves. Okay, we're just going to use these potatoes as a crust. You could also use some leftover mashed potatoes. I mean, they pretty much will mash together and look like mashed potatoes. The original recipe calls for using uh, tater tots. You could do that also. Okay, you don't have to go all the way up the sides, just try to make a little area to put all your other ingredients. Okay, and I've got three tablespoons of melted butter that I'm just going to put on top. And I've got the oven preheating at 425 degrees. And we're just going to bake this until it gets a little brown. You just want to keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn. Okay, I'm going to use five large eggs. These may be considered extra large. Our chickens, they lay fairly large eggs. Okay, now I'd like to add a couple tablespoons of water. You can use milk, but I've always just liked to use water. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Like, again, you don't want to add too much salt. This is one of my favorite whisks. It's from uh, Rachel Ray. Okay, in the pan, I just have some bacon grease. I'm going to scramble the eggs in. You just want to cook the eggs till they're no longer runny, but you don't want to overcook them because they're going to also cook in the oven. Okay, now this is eight ounces of mild cheddar that I grated. I'm going to go ahead and place it on first. You're just going to layer it. Okay, next thing you want to add is the scrambled eggs. Okay, and I'm going to add another layer of cheese. And then I'm going to add some bacon. I have seven slices of bacon here that I cooked. I just used the air fryer to cook them. You can use uh, whatever combination you like, bacon or sausage. Uh, I just prefer bacon. Okay, I'm just going to put the last bit of cheese on top. And I'm going to bake it at the 425 degrees for about 10 more minutes. right you want to let it sit for a few minutes but there you go there you have it thanks a lot